What should a notary do if presented with a document for notarization that appears to include terms that may not comply with current banking laws? Let's have a look at the four choices to determine our solution. Choice A states, proceed with the notarization as legal compliance is not the notary's responsibility. Now, while that may be true per se that legal compliance is not the notary's responsibility, at the same time, the notary does have a duty to preserve the integrity of the notarization. And if the notary has noticed that there are terms that may not comply, the notary should not be proceeding with the notarization just like that. So therefore, this choice is not the correct solution. Choice B states, advise the client on legal changes and suggest they revise the document. Now let's remember that in the professional conduct section of the notary public license law, it states very clearly that unless a lawyer, the notary public may not engage directly or indirectly in the practice of law. If the notary public was to advise the client on legal changes and suggest that they revise the document, that would fall under the guise of providing legal advice and acting as a lawyer. So therefore, choice B is also not the correct solution. Choice C states, refuse to notarize the document until it complies with current laws. Now, the part about not notarizing the document is correct, but by stating that it must comply with current laws, it puts it on the notary public to be in a position of legally advising the client whether or not the document complies with the law. This would fall under the professional conduct refrain from a notary public not acting as a lawyer or giving legal advice. So therefore, choice C is also not the correct solution. That leaves choice D by process of elimination. Let's have a look though, just to be certain. Choice D states, suggest that the client consult a lawyer for legal advice. Now this seems to check all the boxes, so to speak, because the notary is not simply proceeding with the notarization. And at the same time, the notary is not providing legal advice. In fact, he or she is advising the person who wants to sign to obtain legal advice elsewhere. Therefore, choice D suggests that the client consult a lawyer for legal advice is the correct solution.